Dzisiaj w Betlejem, dzisiaj w Betlejem wesoła nowina. When I think about bread-centered traditions in my own family, I immediately go to our Polish Christmas celebrations involving a flat wafer bread that we broke together before our meal. That means Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in Polish. We are celebrating the Vigilia meal, which starts with the Opatek. As every Polish family knows, when the star sh appears in the sky out the window about four o'clock, it's time to start the Vigilia meal. An important part of the celebration is putting hay under the tablecloth to symbolize the crib and nativity area that Christ was born in. You cover it with a white tablecloth because it symbolizes purity and snow. Poles are very hospitable people and they are always welcoming and part of an, an important part of this meal is to have a place setting for an unexpected guest. No one should be alone on Christmas Eve. The most important part of the meal is the um, opatik that is flatbread, usually with cutouts of nativity scene on it. And the pink one is provided for the animals. And opatik is symbolism just like communion in church. That's where it comes from. It's a flat bread, and bread is always welcoming in every, every nationality, every religious ceremony, every country. It's a, it's a way to start the breaking of the bread. Another symbol of a potik that is very important, and I know in our family this has happened, is if some siblings or the parents have had a misunderstanding and are mad at each other, the beginning of this meal is a great time to tell each other you're sorry and I forgive you. Hmm, not sure that's ever happened in my family. How about yours? The head of the household, usually the father, because he is the symbol of the family, would grab the entire plate of opatik, and as everybody would be gathered around, he would start um, with a little prayer. Our family, I started with the Polish version first, and it was Dajnam Boże, żebyśmy doczekali do drugiego raku narodzenia Chrystusa Pana, which means may we all be together for another year to greet the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I remember my grandma always saying, may you grow up to be big and strong and smart. Let's say my grandma's standing next to me and this is my house. I would hand her a piece and she would break it off and eat it, and then turn around and break it with me as well. And then we would kiss each other and hug three times on each cheek. And then she would have a piece and turn around and break it with the next person next to her. And you did that all the way down to the youngest person in the house. And it was so nice to see the little kids with the grandparents and everybody hugging and kissing and breaking opatik. It's a great way to include everybody in this celebration. A little bread, lots of sharing, and a healthy dose of forgiveness. What a great way to celebrate Christmas. God grant that we are all together again for another year for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.